All right, my Saab people, today we are going to do the driver installation for the Combi adapter. Uh, as you can see, I've got Device Manager open. This is a Windows 10 machine. May as well stay current. That's what most everyone should have at this point. Here's the board that we programmed in the last video. And we plug it in. It shows up under the ports there, USB serial device, COM3. But uh, in this case, because we're Windows 10, we need to disable driver signature enforcement. I just wanted to show you what it showed up as. So, in this case, what we want to do, you hold down the uh, the uh, left shift, hit your start menu, power, and restart while holding that left shift. There's another method that I have in the forum post. Um, it's never really worked for me, to be honest. It's supposed to permanently disable it. But this is the way I've used successfully. Select Troubleshoot from the menu. Advanced Options. Startup Settings. And we can see it's the uh, third from the bottom, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. So go ahead and hit the Restart button. Sorry if I'm blinding you guys with my flash. Alright, so, disable driver signature enforcement, number 7, we will hit that. logged in real quick. And back to device manager. And we still see our serial device. We're going to update the driver. Browse. Let me pick from a list. Have disk. Browse. And cumbersomely nav navigate to the downloads folder. Which is where I have extracted the driver. That live USB device is the file you need. Go ahead and open. 
Okay. And next. Now, if you notice, it did say combi adapter in there now. And we want to install the driver software anyway. It's not signed. We know that. And we all want to thank Janus for his excellent, excellent uh, software he developed for this uh, microprocessor. As my channel says, I'm sap addicted and broke, so don't have a lot of money myself. But if you do, please donate to Janus. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Buy him a beer. takes a whole lot longer, I may have to pause the video. Alright, finished. Combi adapter. And we can see under live USB devices, combi adapter is in the list. So we can open up T5 Suite. I do wish I had newer hardware. I feel like this computer may have seen better days. It is a Windows 10 upgrade, however, and not native, so that may have something to do with it. Right, under options and settings. The CAN USB device, you choose Combi Adapter. I believe the default is Lawa Cell, and the suite will tell you that you have a Combi Adapter plugged in, but not selected as the device. We'll go over other things in different videos for now. That was just the driver. Got that going. And uh, fairly straightforward in Windows 10. Imagine 8 is much the same, and... I'm not sure anyone should want to use 7 at this point anymore, unless you're limited by hardware, perhaps. Uh, Alright, again, thanks for watching my sob people, and stay tuned!